Hello, crafty friends. My name's Alicia, but you can call me Crafty Owl. And it is the 1st of December, which means it is time for a brand new sheet load of cards. I hope you'll stick around to see the December 2023 printable, the first set I created, and find out how you can download the printable for free. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring the bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. If you're new to my channel or new to sheet load of cards, this is a free printable I put out each month here on YouTube for my subscribers. The two page printable gives you a sketch, supply list, and cutting guides to make the most of your supplies and yield a sheet load of cards. This is usually anywhere between six and 12, depending on the card size, the paper size, and the sketch. Today on the first of the month, I will be revealing the new printable showing you my first set, and then at the end of the video, I'll tell you how you can download it for free as long as you're a subscriber. Tomorrow, I'm gonna be back with the process video to give you some tips and tricks on how to put the new set together. And my team of collaborators will also be joining me in sharing their first sets. Now, if you don't already subscribe to them here on YouTube or follow them on Instagram, check out the description box below for all their links so you'll be ready for tomorrow. You might be able to tell from the paper pads in front of me that this month's printable is a special 6x6 inch paper edition. And speaking of special edition, let's go ahead and take a look at the December 2023 sheet load of cards. Before we get to that, I do want to recognize some special channel members. The following people earn their two-year membership badge in the month of November. Congratulations goes to... Ursula Milton, Ann Simpson, Robin Trevilian, Paulette Bowles, and Katahdin Crafts. Thank you all so much for your continued support of my channel. Here's a look at the new sketch and printable. This month, with just four pieces of 6x6 pattern paper, we are going to yield eight A2 cards that look like the card on page one. And I forgot to mention before, not only is it a 6x6 edition, but there are also no pattern paper scraps left over. So it's going to be a great one to bust those 6x6 paper pads. Besides those four pieces of pattern paper, you'll need three plus pieces of cardstock for matting and sentiments, and then four solid cardstocks to cut and fold into card bases to yield you eight total. As always, if you like the layout, but maybe don't need a full sheet load or want to use up some scraps, I do list the individual dimensions of each piece. Now you will notice that this month there is kind of a special shape for the sediment. It is a two and a half inch partial circle. Now tomorrow I'll show you how you can cut that circle and then cut off the bottom to get a shape like I've shown here. But if you are a channel member, you will have access to an SVG that is already this exact shape and size to make that easier cutting for you. Hey, 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 crafty friends. It is Editing Alicia here with a little update about the bonus SVG. As I was creating my cards, I thought that maybe the sentiment circle could use a border or a mat in some cases. So I went ahead and created two bonus bonus SVGs. One is a standard mat for that partial circle with just an eighth of an inch border all the way around except on the bottom. And the other one is a scalloped version with that same border. I hope you'll be able to get lots of good use for this. Channel members, make sure to keep an eye out or an ear out in tomorrow's video and an eye out on the membership tab so you can download your freebie. 
And if you want more information on becoming a channel member, you can click on the join button below this video, or there's a link in the description box. One thing I say each month is that Sheetload is a great jumping off point to make it your own. I do usually try to give some alternative ideas to help you get started with that. Now up on the top of the page, I do want to point out that if you're going to make a sheet load of cards and share it online, I have a couple hashtags that I would love for you to use. That way we can come see what you're creating and leave you some love. Page two has the cutting guides for each of your pattern papers and card stocks. You will notice that for CS1, which are your matting pieces, you'll need two full pieces and then just a little scrap to finish those off. For CS2, which will end up being your sentiment piece, this would also be a great one to use if you have some scraps laying around because you do not need to use a brand new full sheet. Now on my printable, I show two sets of the same pair of pattern papers, but as you'll see today, I'm actually gonna use two completely different pairs, but just that I thought that they went together well for the card bases and the matting. And speaking of my pattern papers, let's go ahead and take a look at the main supplies I used for my first set. In front of me is a look at the main supplies you'll see me use in tomorrow's video. Now I will tell you about other products or tools I use, but I just wanted to give you a little peek today before I show you my first set. As I already mentioned, I did decide to go with two different pairs of pattern paper. I chose Echo Park's A Gingerbread Christmas and their A Lumberjack Christmas. For both of these, I thought Craft or Toffee would make a very nice card base, and they both have a nice Christmas green, so that's why I thought I could choose something different, and that way you can see as well, you don't always have to use the same collection when you make a sheet load. Get any papers that are in your stash and cut them up and put them to use. For my sentiment, I did use the free SVG for channel members and cut out the shape and to stamp onto that, which they fit almost, well, they do fit perfectly, just right on there. I am using Honey Bee Stamps Biddy Buzzwords Holidays. I'll be using this big holiday word here. And in front of that, I'm gonna be putting wishing you a happy and joyful. That way it's gonna cover lots of the winter holidays when I send these out. To stamp the sentiments, I use some jalapeno and cherry pop from Tailored Expressions. The cardstock colors I chose are also from Tailored Expressions. I have sugar cube for my sentiment piece, jalapeno for my matting, and for my card bases, I am using toffee. Let's go ahead and take a look at my first set of cards. I hope you enjoyed seeing my first set of cards using the December 2023 sheet load of cards. If you've already got some ideas ruminating in your head, why don't you go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget I'll be back tomorrow to show you exactly how I made these, but now let me tell you how you can download that free printable. As always, sheet load of cards is free to all subscribers of my channel. So please, before you click on the link, which I'll tell you where it's at here in just a little bit, make sure you have already clicked on that subscribe button below. And if you'd like to be one of the first to know when I put out new videos, make sure to ring that bell and choose all notifications. You're going to find the link to this month's PDF down in the description box right above my PO box address. Below it, it will say to watch the video for a password, but you watching this far is your password. I hope to see lots of you sharing with the two hashtags on the printable, and don't forget to stop back by tomorrow to see what my team has created and the process video. Until then, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you are interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box below.